Welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. Um, today is Tuesday the 1st of March uh, 2022 and we are currently at Swan Lane Wharf on the Comptry Canal in Comptry. Uh, my name is Steve Tyrrell. Nice to have you along again. Um, so this week or this video, see that's the thing. Um, I was such a rush to get the fire in and get the fire installed. I've got no jobs planned for this week. However, the boat is an absolute pigsty. So I think this week or for the next couple of days at least, <clears throat> I, um, I need to tidy the boat up and sort a few jobs out. Um, because basically I want to move on to the boat in a couple of weeks. Um, so I need to get the boat almost to a state where it's inhabitable. So that means catching up on a few little jobs, uh, finishing the plumbing, uh, getting the taps around the sink and all that sort of all of that sort of stuff, and everything plumbed up for the shower, the gulper pump, get the electric plumbed up, get the electric plumbed up for the water, uh, the water pressure pump for the fresh water feed, get that plumbed up, get the electric sorted for that. I also need to fit uh, a bubble meter into the gas locker as well, so that I can see whether there's any gas leaks. But you know, I'm getting ahead of myself there, so. There's a few little jobs, like I said, I need to sort first, mainly electrics and plumbing, just so that in a couple of weeks I have um, I have a, a boat that I can move aboard. Or, albeit that it still needs a lot of work, I still can live on it because there'll be running water and there'll be heat and there'll be gas. So before I do any of that, I need to have a tidy up. So um, let me have a quick show you what's around and show you how I left the boat because it is an absolute pigsty. Okay. As always, don't forget, if you enjoy the video, um, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've got anything you'd like to say or any comments you'd like to add or any advice you'd like to give me, then please comment down below. Do love your comments. As always, it's my favourite part of making the videos is uh, interacting with you guys. I do love that. I, I, I like that more than anything else. Uh, and also, if you're not subscribed, mm, you know who you are. Okay, if you're not subscribed, then please consider subscribing. I'd much appreciate it okay all right let's get on with the video and see what bilge or divulge for you today or this week anyway okay guys all right have fun Okay, so let's start at the back of the boat. Um, there's lots of bits of wood I've left here that I've trim or taken off and bits I've used and bits of insulation and other bits of insulation and bits of wood and my workhorses. So this is the first area I need to clean out. I've got my old batteries. They need to go in the back of the car and get scrapped because they're um, about, them batteries are about as useful as a chocolate tea guard uh, or a chocolate fire guard or a chocolate teapot. Um, bits of copper they all need to go as well or stored away anyway um, until I finish the complete refix there's bits there I can reuse and, and carry on using so and this is the thing I don't want to chuck too much away because I don't want to have to spend money if I don't really need to so back of the boat that's where we are so far we need to sort that out because this eventually is going to be a boatman's cabin albeit a small one it's still going to be a boat, boatman's cabin so right through into the engine room uh, not a lot has changed in here I have um, looked into getting batteries ordered so the batteries will go down here where I'm stood now and the floor or the sole will come up to these engine beds here and they'll be level with the engine beds uh, and I'm going to try and make a sole that goes all the way around the engine so that you can almost walk all the way around there'll be uh, there'll be places for you to walk on and get around and a lot of this wiring will be tidied up a lot of that wiring over there will be tidied up that'll get rid of um, I really need to look at sorting out a new fuse box but whether I do yet or do that in the future I'm not too sure um, I have been on to the solar people midsummer solar about getting solar sorted for the boat and batteries so having the batteries in here this is where that's going um, shower room although I'm pretty much finished in here uh, work wise uh, I still need to wire up the gulper pump so that still needs sorting which is fine the wires are all there ready for it I just need to finish it off and get it done 
uh, jobs that I should have done in the, uh, when I was doing the boat and you know you get carried away and you finish and you forget about stuff. Um, there's still a bit of decorating to do in here and also the penny floor that needs to be done in here as well. Okay so where are we now? Move that out of the way. Okay so the fridge needs wiring in. The wires for that are just tucked. Well you can see them there look, they're just dangling there. They'll go through under the bilge under the bilge under the gunnels and they'll come out just behind the fridge because the fridge is a 12 volt fridge uh, the washing machine is all plumbed up that's all ready to go uh, the gas for the cooker and the uh, oven that's all ready to go uh, I haven't wired up the electric lighter for it but that's something I can do in the future once I've got wiring in for the water pump the igniter for the cooker can go off the water pump because it's not going to draw much um, now this is where we get into the messy bit so this is a stack of my tools here, look. all my tools and work bits, all my special pennies are stored down there, look. all my little new, you know, my new stuff, the pennies ready to do the floor, the special ones, they're all down there waiting. Um, my box of bits that people have sent me off Amazon wish list, so that's all there waiting to be used. Um, that's my sort, my drills that Chris bought me, thanks Chris. Chris Bourne, you're a gent. Um, I say all my tools there sat on the side they need to be all tidied up and put in order because as you can see look, there's bits left where I finish with them you know so that needs to go um, all the bits of trim that are on the back here they need to go uh, on site here there is a garage that I can store stuff in short term um, it can't stay there forever but short term while I'm clearing the boat out and getting things sorted they can go in the garage and, and be tidied away in the garage nice and neat I have other wood in the garage you've got me big boards in the garage at the moment so they can go in there um, log burners finished um, there's a couple more jobs I want to do on the chimney outside and I want to fit a, um, a boss or something around there just to make that look a bit more pretty and think about putting stuffing up some rock wool in here just to insulate it so when I put the boss in that'll get filled with rock wool or something you know because rock wool is non flammable so that can go in there and, and fill that and fill the void to keep the heat down keep the heat transfer down bits of wood trim more bits of wood trim um, I haven't varnished or polished the coin wall yet um, and I mean I'm in no rush to do that that's finished as part from varnishing so there's no rush to do that at all I can do that as and when um, looking back to the gas pipe here uh, behind the drawers there is a gas turn off uh, but I don't like where it is so what I'm going to do is uh, the gas tap that turns the gas off for the whole boat I'm going to move to just under the gunnels here uh, just under the end of the um, works top here that will go under the gunnels and so you'll just be able to reach up under and there'll be a little turn off gas tap turn it and that will lock the gas off so that I'm going to move that at some point in the in the near future uh, bits of fake flue pipe they need chucking away bits of wood that I don't want to chuck away yet because I'll use them and then just at the front of the boat got the box the uh, the cooker come in the range I've got my drawer for under my fire and then just a load of other tools that are lying around that I need to get rid of so this is all stuff that needs to be cleaned away so this is my job for the next couple of days is just having a tidy up on the boat and sorting out because it's a pigsty it's an absolute pigsty and um, some some point at the end of this week I want to come over lady PJ and and light the fire and the light, the grand lighting of the fire will be a video of its own. Um, so I'll do that. And we'll probably sit and chat for a while and, you know, and talk about the future and bits of bits of rubbish like that with Lady PJ. And, you know, and you'll get to see all that. I'll, I'll try and fit a radio mic to both of us so you can hear us nice and clear. OK, right, let's get on with some work and do some tidying. I'm sure you don't really need to see me tidying up rubbish and, and tidying my tools away, do you? You know, you just want to see what the end result looks like. So, OK. Um, Chat to you later. I'll show you how, how far I've got at the end of the day and um, see what the boat looks like then. All right. See me hob again. Better. These couple of bits of wood here I want to go around the hatchway there. So um, I might try and have a look at fitting them back in. If not, then I'll make new. We're getting there. I think I might um, glue that in place before I go home because that needs doing, and then I can get my taps up and 
mounted this week as well so i'm going to glue that before i leave today i've got my props on the floor so i'm going to glue that in now and then that's me done for the day then one, once the props are across the boat i can uh, i can go home and i haven't got to keep knocking them every time i walk past so okay so we've got two products so you can see that just stay there a second i'll open the door behind you and you'll get a better view look at that bit of light bang bang right forever white silicon or any brand of silicon just to see it on the bottom and uh, a heavy duty uh, adhesive in this case it's uh grip fill but it's just uh, it's just like a, a filler adhesive so that will do the job nicely so um I'm going to put the adhesive on first, on the back, and then what I'll do is I'll just run a bead of silicon along the top here and then sit the board on. Uh, that should be enough then. Uh, and then once the board sits on it, the silicon will seal. I'm not worried about having a joint here. Um, I can do that at a later date or if it squirts out, I'll add a bit. So just basically from here to here on the porcelain, I'll add the silicon. So, right. Let's see if everything comes out it may well be uh, stuck in that tight and that old that it's dry or gone hard but whoops we'll see Okay, so that'll do that for that. I'll, uh, I'll stick my screw back in the end. Tyrrell's top tip. Stick a screw in the end, and it'll it'll keep that now for weeks before that before that silicon goes hard. So another, another Tyrrell's top tip. <laughs> tube of grip is nearly empty but that won't matter as long as it's not gone hard already it's fine which it may well have gone hard by the look of that in there it's coming out let me get a screwdriver and clear out the hole wait there Uh, I'm terribly sorry about that. I uh, had to speak to my daughter. The, uh, the oil warning light in the car came on, so she was just asking for advice. Right. Let's see if we can stick this in place then. got a bit of a squirt out here of uh, silicon but that's fine I'm quite happy with that so let's get these in and see if we can uh doing is wedging these against the back wall of the boat it won't do any harm it won't do any damage it'll just uh, it'll just wedge in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of wood on here to spread the weight a little bit and that'll just help you know. angle's fine so I'm happy with the angle right, let's do this one nice and tight as well Yeah, 
A bit of silicone to get it off. silicon that squirted out. There you go. Got a squirt out there as well. Okay, and that's in place now. Um, and then by the morning that will be absolutely rock hard solid. Yeah, I don't want to clamp it anymore because I don't want to damage the wood. Okay, there you go. Home time for me now. Alright, enjoy your evening. See you later. Bye. Hello. Wednesday the 2nd of March. Um, at the moment I'm only here for a second. It's uh, about half past one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I've got a nip to Midland Chandler's to get a bubble tester so I've just nipped into the boat now to get um, a piece of the pipe that I've got my gas pipe just so that I know I'll get the right connections and that sort of stuff so um, while I'm here just take off the stand uh, okay while I'm here I'm going to take off the um, props because they should be finished with now so right stand by and let's get rid of them and then get some pipe and then we'll disappear off to Midland Chandler's Okay, so that looks really good. I can think about mounting the um, the pipes and the taps on there now. Okay, let's dig out some pipe. Morning, third of March, um, Wednesday the third, Thursday the third of March, uh, twenty twenty two. Just um, sorting out the taps here. So I'm going to screw these in place first, uh, tighten up the joints, and then put some PTFE tape on the actual tap itself and then run it home to just get three um, enough screws that match to do the job right See eventually when I find 
taps or faucets that I like I'll uh, swap them out for these because they're okay they weren't the size I was expecting but um, you know they might be fine I might learn to uh, learn to love them but at the moment I'm not feeling much love for these taps but you know hey ho it is what it is okay let's crack on more jobs to do now um, I think the next job is going to be the waste pipe so let's get that connected under the sink okay remember this bad boy right I've now decided then that the gas tap that's just here above the pipe here is uh, no good well it's not no good it's just in, in, in a very not in a very convenient place so I'm going to move the gas tap to let's come out the other side here oh, stand up bad knees so I'm going to move the gas tap to just under here okay so it means cutting the pipe here unscrewing it all putting a new piece of pipe in screwing it all back in job done yeah sounds easy doesn't it <laughs> oh yeah there's one screw under there that holds it all together at the top one p-clip which is nicely positioned here under the work surface which is um yeah part of the course isn't it really okay let's uh let's get on with it no use complaining just get on and do Okay, so this is what I wanted out this um, this gas tap here. Look, um, so we get the the bolts off this or the nuts off this, and uh, we'll make a new piece of pipe. Shouldn't be too hard. Should be fairly easy. Yeah, see how we get on. Right, that's the new pipe in there, look. That's not too bad. And I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see it under here. Let's just have a look. No, hang on. Stay there. Let me get a torch. Put my phone on, get the torch on my phone. Right, let's have a look. New gas tap. Yeah. That's that done. Um, not sure now whether to do the electrics for the uh, water pump and the gulper in the bathroom or to finish off the gas and do the bubble tester in the uh, front of the boat. I think I'm going to do the bubble tester. Right, so here's the plan. Going to cut the gas pipe there. And then once the pipe's cut, I'm going to put a piece of board on there, clamp it down. And then I can use that piece of wood to screw to. So I'll, all I'm going to do is glue that to there. That's all it needs. Um, that should be enough. And then I can use that to P-clip the pipe and also screw the uh, bubble tester to. And it's in a perfect location to press it and see any bubbles coming out. So that's the plan anyway. Um, let me show you how I get on when I'm finished. Uh, it's a bit tight in here to try and get you in at the same time as I'm working. So. I'm afraid you're gonna to have to wait until I'm done so but we'll see we'll see how we get on well that's the bubble meter fitted tested and all is good so what the idea is you press on this now and then you look for bubbles coming out in the liquid in the little glass jar at the front and uh, there is no bubbles all the appliances are turned on as well. Well, turned off, but the gas to the appliances is all turned on. Um, and that's all good. There's no bubbles coming out of there at all. However, in here somewhere, there is a gas leak on that regulator somewhere. Um, I can't see any bubbles, but I can smell it and I can hear it. I just can't find it. So um, I've got to have uh, a boat safe, not a boat safety, a, a gas safety certificate done anyway in a, in a couple of weeks. So then, at that point, I'll ask the guy to have a look and see if he can fit me a new uh, regulator or something. I might even fit my own regulator, I don't know yet. I might have a look to see how much they cost. Uh, because something there is not working properly. 
so and there's a bit of a leak somewhere I just can't find it I've sprayed loads of that gas stuff like you can see it's all dripped on the floor down there so I've sprayed loads of leak detector on it and I just can't see it I can hear it I can hear it I can hear it it's, it's there I just can't find it so I may end up fitting a new a new regulator or whatever that is called I'm sure it's a regulator hello Friday the 4th of March 2022 um, back at the boat today and today is lighting the fire day so Lady PJ's here um, she's currently still working uh, she's in the car making a phone call at the moment so as soon as she's finished doing her work she'll come into the boat and we'll um, make her start lighting the fire so there's a couple of jobs I need to do before that happens so we have a bit more of a tidy up and also I need to chop some kindling so uh, let's go now out, out can't talk again let's go out the front of the boat or the back of the boat and we'll chop a little bit of wood I'm sure you've never seen people chop wood before but you know you're about to see it <laughs> right, so Lady PJ has now joined me on the boat, so uh, we're going to light the log burner. We've already had a cup of tea, well, a disastrous cup of tea. Yeah, so I've already christened the worktop <laughs> and the cocker by spilling a cup of tea over the it. The floor. And the floor, yeah. <clears throat> so Pete from Avalon 2 came around as well and we had a cup of tea and a nice chat. Um, Pete kindly makes me cups of coffee all the time when I'm at the boat, he's always bringing me coffee around looking after me. So. Uh, it's only fair that the first time I made a cup of tea on the new cooker, I repaid the favour. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy. We're going to light the log burner now, and you guys are going to see it start. To, well, not start to finish, but you guys are going to see a bit of the log burner now. So, okay, enjoy, and uh, we'll catch you at the end. See you soon. Bye. 